well. It's very fast when it's running, but he's had problems. And of course, if he wins this, he will then earn the right to run again in the B final. Alongside him, Tom Rona, one of several Norwegians here today. His car, a 2.2 litre Ford Escort. And behind him, you can just see the uh, Turbo Beetle of Francois Montin from Belgium. And alongside him, Keith Ripp in the Fiesta. The third row, Kittelsen in the Escort. Fuel in his Escort, six cars. This is four and a half laps for this final. And a clean start from everybody, a marvellous start from Tom Rona. It's Tom Rona, but now Tony Drummond it is who eases ahead. Tony, Tony Drummond is in front, and uh, Keith Ripp going all the way around the outside in the yellow fiesta. Look at that yellow fiesta, it's going too wide. The Beatle coming through in that cloud of chalk dust somewhere was Keith Ripp, but out in front it is indeed Tony Drummond leading from Tom Rona. The two escorts in front, in third place, Francois Montan in the Turbo Beetle as they go on up the hill ahead of the escorts, but Drummond just holding off Tom Rona. The attention to Tom Rona in the white and blue escort. The little beetle waving its front wheel, and you saw a glimpse of yellow Fiesta just then, which is Keith Ritt coming through after going very wide. Lots of traffic going through Paddock, but this is the little beetle. Then the rest of the field bouncing through, and Drummond still the leader. Three and a half laps to go now, and all sorts of drama because Rip has gone very, very wide. So has Dave Fuel in the black escort, and that has let the leading trio get away. And look at Francois Montan closing in the Beetle. Drummond still out in front, but uh, the Beetle putting all the pressure on Tom Rona in second place. It's escort, escort, and turbocharged Volkswagen as they go up the hill, and Drummond goes wide, the Beetle goes wide, and Rona is challenging for the lead. Rona is alongside as they go up the hill. Drummond has a problem. Perhaps, because I think his engine falls for briefly. Drummond very, very sideways, and the Beetle goes through, and he's down to third place now. Drummond all over the track, and he's now dropped to fourth place indeed. And so that, there is poor Drummond, who led from pole position, but has now slid down to fourth place. And out in front, then, Tom Rohner of Norway, and chasing him hard, Francois Montoy and the Turbo Beetle. The Turbo Beetle is just a couple of lengths behind. They've got two laps to go now, just over two laps. And the Beetle is very, very close. They're off now the... Uh, off the chalk onto the tarmac. Drummond has a puncture, we learn. That was his problem, and the Beatles going through at the elbow. The Beatles is absolutely alongside, and surely that Escort's going to spin. It so nearly spins. It doesn't spin, but it falls down to second place. It may be third place. And Francois Montan of Belgium in the turbo has gone through as the Escorts battle away with Gunnar Kittelsen of Norway putting the pressure on his fellow Norwegian, these two Norwegian escorts battling away. And uh, Kittelsen in car number 19 in third place, the car with Suzuki on the front, it's Rona in car number 60 in front, two almost identical escorts bouncing their way. The Beetle is away and in front, the Beetle has got away, and it's the battle for second place between these two escorts. Gunnar Kittelsen in third place, both of them from Norway, both of them good friends off the track, and oh, he, he is right off, that's Rona going way, way off, Rona loses it coming out of Chessons, Kittelsen goes through into second place, and so Gunnar Kittelsen now in second, but still out in front, Francois Montoy in this amazing little beetle, the turbocharged flat four two litre beetle, and the escort of Gunnar Kittelsen now closing and closing as they come down the hill, turn right over onto the mud, through Paddock Bend, over the bouncing, and the beetle twitching from side to side, back on the tarmac once more, and on go the brake lights, of the Beetle, of Francois Montan of Belgium. And he can't relax because the slightest mistake is going to be that the very determined Gunnar Kittelsen, who, remember, started from third row of the grid, will come through, but there is the chequered flag. Francois Montan has won the C final. Second is Gunnar Kittelsen, and that means that that gallant little turbocharged Beetle is going to go through into the B final.